and succulent growers, it's Lynn. And in today's video, we are going to be moving out these three huge giant cacti that we have to overwinter inside our house on our staircase, as you can see, because it's the only place we can put them because they're too tall for our polytunnel and too tall to overwinter anywhere else in the house. So we have to have them here on our staircase under a grow light here. And uh, normally by now I would have moved these three big giants out probably at the end of April, but up until the past couple of weeks, the weather hasn't, hasn't been great for spring. Lovely now. And those of you who watch my videos know that I've been very, very busy moving out plants from inside the house and also in our big polytunnel out back into the yard and the, um, the, our smaller white pot greenhouse for the summer months. So this is what we're going to be doing in this video. And I was going to start on the euphorbias that I've got in my grow room, but the couple of nights, not overly warm, they're forecast sort of six, five, between five and seven Celsius at night. So I'm holding back a little bit on the euphorbias, but it should be fine to take these three giants out. And uh, first I'm gonna talk a little bit about them in case you're not, you haven't watched these type of videos before. If you have, you know sort of about these three giants that we have to bring out into the yard for the summer months. And the first one here is a Trichocereus variety. And this is about seven feet high, having directly under the grow light, as you can see. And this is one that my uh, partner Hans has grown from seed about 48, possibly actually 49 years ago. And he's had to even cut it back when he moved house. He, he lived in Sweden and that's when he's grown it from seed all them years ago. He had to cut it back when he moved apartments and that. So it'd be even taller than this if he hadn't. But it is absolutely remarkable. Amazing that he's grown this from seed, this huge giant. And as I say, too tall for the greenhouse polytunnel. So that's why we have to overwinter it here in our staircase where we've got headspace, as you can see. So that's going to be coming out. The second one here is a twin, um, twin pilosa serious and a very another very old pilosocereus cactus here and uh, these these type of cacti are not cold hardy and we brought all our other ones out that we over into in our other grow room the other day and i did a video when i did so if you want to watch that video do check that video out moving all the serious cacti from inside the house and the polytonic back into the white greenhouse for summer. I'll link that video up above. And I'll also link it down below as well. You've got to watch that, fun and games. But this one again is, isn't cold hard. They do ideally like a minimum of 10 Celsius, which is about 50 degree Fahrenheit in winter. Um, they can sort of take six, seven, eight Celsius briefly, but not continuous. So this would be okay to come out. And uh, lovely, this again is about seven feet high, two in the same pot. And I got this, oh, many years ago, probably about 15 years ago, from a gentleman that lived in Dublin, from Hoth in Dublin. And uh, he had grown, he'd grown this from, and it was a tiny little baby, two in the pot. Uh, so this is very old, Pelosa Cereus as well, beautiful variety. And then here, oh, this one I love, but it's one that has to be the most lethal to handle. And um, this is our big, again, probably about seven feet high now, Brasilia Apuntia basiliensis. And it's a gorgeous Apuntia variety that has sort of wavy pads. And these wavy pads almost look like little leaves, but it may look very pretty and it looks more like um, leafy than actually pads, but it is lethal. It's a very old, um, very old plant cactus that I got from my friend John when I used to live in Sligo on the west coast of Ireland and he'd grown it for many, many, many years. So this is possibly 50 years old or more. Lovely tree, as you can see the lovely woody bark there always coming down with mealy bug, more like the cocky neal type of mealy bug, like these sausage shaped nests. And I'm continually having to remove mealy bug off it. When it goes off, when it goes out into the yard now for the summer, the, the mealy bugs completely disappear, which is great. And it loves the fresh air and, the, and also plenty of rain as well. As I say, it's a little bit more tropical than the other type of Apuntia. So rain's not an issue for this. 
and uh, lovely, lovely old cactus that I've had for many, many years. Again, this one is too tall for our polytunnel, so it has to be overwintered here and then brought back out for the spring and summer. And uh, the reason why this one is so lethal is because it has really uh, like thin, thin little spines and uh, also very heavily glochid. So you only have to look at it and you get spiked and they're very hard to get out the skin as well. And I'm happy to say that we've got our wonderful friend Sean who is coming today to help us lift these three giants because I'm a, I'm a girl guys and it's too heavy for me to lift. And uh, Hansi, well he's in his 70s, he's absolutely remarkable, got tons more energy than I have and he's going to be lifting these with our friend Sean because both of them are big strong men and together they're great lifting these. So what I'm going to do in this video, I've told you a little bit about these three giants and I'm going to film some video clips when Sean arrives with Sean and uh, Hans lifting these giants and also how they lift them because you can't just pick them up from the bottom and take them down. They have to be turned onto the side and obviously your hands have to be protected and everything like that. So I'm going to show you this in the video and then I'm going to show you them when they're outside where we put them. So um, happy days, here we go. Now here, here what we're using here, the, these big shopping bags that are great cut up. And this was actually Sean's idea to invent this, a great invention, because we're gonna do the big Brasilia Apuntia Basiliensis first, which is the most lethal one to touch. And so Hans is wrapping the, the uh, Handle the, the handles around with the bag and this protects his hands as they're moving this uh, big beast down the stairs. There they are, bringing the big, big beast down. And so Sean is very, very, very good friend for us to help us out with this. Sean and Hans, the big strong guys here. There he is. I take the show. Okay. Oh. That's it uh, oh, outside. <sighs> outside. Oh. Hey, hey. That's the first one out. Tilly, 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 bam, boom. Ah. Okay. Now for the next one. <sighs> now the next one is this big twin, Pilosocerius. And uh, it's going to be fun and games for. Sean and Hans to move this fella. One, two, three, come. Oh, here it's coming. Oh my God, these guys are amazing. Come, 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 come. These guys are amazing, I have to say. I've got that there, yeah. You see, they put the cholestyrene in between the two columns to stop them piecing each other. It's just the top. And two big bricks to stabilise it because they haven't been watered yet, obviously. So this uh, gives them a bit of stability. <laughs> And the last one, the big tall Trichocerius and Hans is growing himself from seed and he actually said he was, year was 50 guys. years, 50 I think I said 48 year or 49 years after 50 years ago he sowed the seed of this big giant here. to be guys this is not an easy job see it's starting to peek through here now gosh I'm not kidding you guys this is unreal what uh, Hans and Sean have to do it's the top of the big trichocerius oh, I could not do this if I was on my own and uh, 
Oh, well done, guys. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. That's them all out. Woohoo! That's the three giants out. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, look at that, guys. Blood. Oh, hurts his, his knee from lifting these. It's, it's, as I say, it is not an easy job. R, R, H minus zero <laughs> my blood type so. uh -huh. <laughs> look at that yeah. Yeah, so no, they're out now we actually it was an overcast day which is why when we bought them out but it as you can see it's quite sunny now so we're yeah. going to have to cover them with a bit of shade cloth yeah. but now they are in shadow they are in shadow and actually the sun has gone away so i think we're going to be okay because it's sort of getting towards the later on in the um towards the evening so they should be okay if you're moving cactus out that's been in the house you have to acclimatise them by either putting them in a shady position or putting some shade cloth on for the first few days so they get used to the high light levels. These have been under a strong grow light, but um, obviously now it's shady now and it's getting to the evening anyway, so no problem with these. They should acclimatise, but if it was sunny, we'd have to cover them. Oh my goodness. Now guys, give a massive big thumbs up to Sean and Hans here for lifting these three massive heavy cacti and they are both amazing. And if you're not familiar with, with uh, Sean's amazing YouTube channel, Photography Rambles With My Camera, do go and subscribe to him. Links up above and down below in the video description. And Hansi as well, Plant Daddy, links up above and also down below in the video description. Show your support guys. And as I say, do give these guys a big thumbs up. They have been absolutely amazing to lift these big giants. Thank you, love. Thank you all. <laughs> so guys, happy days. They're out now and because it's a it's a lovely beautiful warm day but it's quite overcast as you can see and also it's coming towards the late afternoon now so the sun has moved away from here perfect for bringing these out to let them acclimatize because although they've been under a strong grow light it can still be a shock to them to come out into a very sunny bright direct light but it's as I say they'll have a chance to acclimatize easily now because it's more overcast and also um, tomorrow if it's very sunny we can cover them with some ta some towels and shade cloth just to protect them for the first few days to let them get used more to the brighter light shade cloth sort of is, acts as a bit of a filter so they still get light a bit of sun but not direct sun but if it stays like this pretty overcast they should be absolutely fine just want to mention that when you're bringing plants back outside for the summer months and I just want to excuse this ugly wall here this is we actually rent so there's not much we can really do about this this is down to um, I think it's like a rusty nail or something it looks so unsightly so hopefully we'll get a nice hanging plant to hang down there to cover that so it's not the most aesthetically pleasing but the plants are cacti are out and that's the most important and do stay tuned for another video coming in a couple of days where I'm going to be bringing out the euphorbia in my grow room they're going to be coming out into the uh, big polytunnel for their spring and summer months so thank you so much for watching everyone and if you haven't done already don't forget to subscribe do click the notification bell you can also follow me on insta twitter and facebook at desert plants of avalon and for more growing tips also please check out my website desertplantsofavalon.com i want to wish you all an amazing giant cactus powered day oh my gosh huge